Ferns are an ancient and diverse group of plants that have been present on Earth for over 300 million years. Their habitats span a variety of climates across the world, ranging from the warm humidity of tropical rainforests to the cooler regions near the poles. One of the defining features of ferns is their large feathery leaves known as fronds. These fronds, often broad and divided, allow them to efficiently capture sunlight even in lower light environments, such as beneath the canopy of dense forests. Ferns are non-flowering plants. They do not reproduce via flowers or seeds. Instead, they employ a unique method involving spores. These spores, typically found as tiny brown dots on the underside of the fronds, are essentially microscopic packets of potential new life. Once mature, they are released into the air, and if they land in a hospitable environment, usually somewhere moist, they can germinate and grow into new ferns. Ferns exhibit an impressive array of forms and sizes. Some are quite small and grow close to the ground, such as the maidenhair fern, a delicate plant with wiry black stems and small fan-shaped leaves. Other ferns can reach substantial heights, for example, the tree ferns of Australia and New Zealand can tower to heights of 15 to 20 metres. The azolla or water fern is a tiny, free-floating fern that form a mat on the water surface of ponds, making them look more like algae than typical ferns. Ferns also exhibit a wide variety of frond shapes and patterns. For instance, the Japanese painted fern displays a beautifully intricate lace-like pattern on its fronds. Some ferns, like the bird's nest fern, have evolved to be epiphytic, meaning they grow on other plants, often trees, rather than in the soil. These ferns have broad, undivided fronds that form a funnel shape, which helps gather and hold water and leaf litter. By growing attached to trees, Bird's nest ferns are able to reach more sunlight than they would on a dark forest floor. Ferns play a significant role in many ecosystems. Their root-like structures, known as rhizomes, help to stabilise soil and prevent erosion. They also provide a habitat for various species and contribute to nutrient cycles. Some types of ferns are even a source of food for animals and insects. Some species of deer and elk, for example, feed on the fronds of young bracken ferns. So there you have it, a quick look at the amazing world of ferns. I hope you enjoyed learning, and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe!